Hey everybody, Max Kevin here. It's Little Cutie Podcast. It's not too long. Oh, and today I'm joined by Zoro, the 3.5 fat boy. Zoro, what are you going to say to my fans? What's that? What? There's, there's a boy in the well? What's that, fatty? You want to eat more treats? Uh, yeah, if Zoro was, uh, you know, if he was like a, you know, one of those TV shows, you know, or like, you know, like Lassie, where they have to save all the, all the, all the people, you know, the boys in the well. I don't think Zoro would save anybody. He'd just be like, when's dinner time? That's all he'd ever say. It's like, what's that, boy? Dinner time? Nope, not dinner time yet. You gotta wait six more hours. And he'd just be like, fuck this, I'm taking a nap. And that would be the whole show. It would just be him sleeping and waiting for dinner time. Oh, anyway, uh... What a lot of talk. Oh, I had a little roast battle. I had a little roast battle like ten days ago. It was really fun. It was good, you know. I was going up against uh, Tokyo Tokyo legend Bill Miller. Uh, he's famous for uh, writing roast jokes and uh, being really fat. Basically, those are the two two things he's famous for. Um, yeah, so anyway, it was a fun it was a fun roast time. You know, good audience. You know, this time it was on a Saturday night. Everybody was drunk. You know, even the jokes they didn't laugh at. They're like, "Oh shit." Oh shit! You know it was great, great audience. You know, they were a pretty easy audience. You know they were they were laughing. They were pretty much laughing at everything. You know they laughed. None of our jokes bombed for both of us. None of our jokes bombed. They were both. They all hit. It was fun. It was a fun night. It was a fun. You know it's it's fun uh, being roasted because you it's you don't really get to see what other people think of you, but it's more like like the the caricature version of what people. You know they're really good writers, or you know can write uh, caricature. Or just, you know, how, like, how people see you, I guess, you know? It's hard, it's hard to know how other people see you, you know? Because every day you look in the mirror and you're just like, Oh, God, I'm so goddamn beautiful. Look how beautiful I am. I just want to make out with myself, you know? You can't really, you don't really understand how other people view you, you know? But uh, it's good, that's, that's what's good about the roast battle there, you can see. How other people view, it was Zoro, stop sniffing the microphone. I don't know if you guys can hear Zoro sniffing the microphone. You know, anyway, it was, uh... It was a fun time there. You know, it was kind of a short notice fight. You know, I, I'm uh, I like to uh, you know, I like to write my jokes. I, I like to, I need time. Okay, I'm an artist. Okay, I'm an artist. And I need time to write my jokes. But it was like a, I only had one week there. You know, but uh, Bill's Bill's pretty easy to write for because he's just uh, he's just really fat. You know, so it's kind of easy to write for fat people because you just write you just write twenty fat jokes and that's pretty much all I did. Every single joke was just like, hey, you're you're a big fat fatty fat fat. Why don't you stop being so fat? You fat? You fat? You fatty fat? Fat fat? Who's fat? You're fat. Anyway, uh, uh, yeah, you know, so I, uh, I wrote a bunch of jokes there, and, uh, you know, I guess my, uh, the way I write, I, first I just write a bunch of premises, you know, and then I try to just wait for my brain to automatically think of something funny, you know, and just wait, uh, until I can think of a few punchlines, you know, or just, or just, like, write a bunch of different punchlines, and then whichever one I like best, you know, so I wrote some jokes there, you know, and, uh, you know, the days were ticking along, ticking along, tick-tock, tick-tock, life's ending slowly, you know, and, uh, so I had a couple jokes there that I didn't know which punchline. I didn't know which punchline was the best there, you know? Okay, so the guy's name is Miller, right? So I had three punchlines, like, you know, Miller Light. They're making his own beer. Miller Heavy, you know, because, you know, Heavy's the opposite of Light there. Or Miller Massive, you know? And I like that one because Massive, it, you know, it's got the MM there. It's got the alliteration, you know? And Massive also means big. Big, fat, fatty, you know? And then I had uh, Miller Fat Fuck. And that was, you know... And that one, I think... Uh, you know, uh, you know. Sometimes you can say bad word, like uh, that's kind of a cheat in uh, in comedy. There, if you just say a bad word, it's kind of a cheat. You know, because uh, people are like, "Oh my God, he just said a bad word." Ha ha. You know, kind of a cheat there. You know. Uh, so I was kind of deciding between those three punchlines, and there was there was a couple other jokes where I had some other punchlines there. You know, so I. Uh, I guess with with like the heavy one, I felt like it was it was the obvious choice, but it was also too easy. You know, and the thing with comedy is. Uh, the pun- punchlines need to be sort of surprising, you know? It, like, punchlines need to be what the audience... What the audience should have been thinking, but didn't realize... You know, that that's why it's a punchline. It's because when, they, when you say it, the audience is thinking, Oh, I should have thought of that. Or, I mean... I was going... I, I You know, I should have thought of that, but I didn't. And now you told me... You told me what I should have been thinking. And that's what makes me laugh, you know? And, um... But that was almost too easy, you know? If, you know... Sometimes if, if the audience can see the punchline coming, then, uh, you know, it's not funny because they, they know what the punchline is going to be, you know, so they're not surprising there. So I kind of felt like, you know, I felt like heavy was the obvious, uh, 
obvious choice there, but it was also too easy, you know. So uh, anyway, I uh, ended up asking pretty much all the all the comedians here in Tokyo like which one, which one they liked there, you know. And I had another joke with some uh, some other punchlines here, you know. And I was kind of hoping, you know, like we'd have like a consensus here, you know. I guess you know people are you know got got some funny people here in Tokyo, so the the most funny one would stand out there, you know. And uh, I don't know, I probably asked like 15 comedians, and basically all of them. Like, they all, they all gave me different answers in different reasons, you know? Like, none of them, there was no clear winner there, you know? And then with the other joke, too, there was no, everybody gave me their, like, oh, you should do this one because da-da-da-da-da. It's like, oh, I, if I was, if that was me, I would do this one. Da-da-da-da. And I, and it didn't, it didn't help at all. I asked everybody for help, and it just, it just made things worse because no one, no one could decide, and everybody had their own little, you know, it's like, oh, this is what I would do, you know, ba 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 boo ba da boo you know, and, uh, yeah, you know what's funny about asking people for joke advice, and I, I'm, I'm sure I'm guilty of this as well, is that, is that they give you advice as if they were telling the joke, you know, and it's like, well, this is how I would do it, and it's like, well, you're a different type of comedian than I am, so I can't do it how you do it, I gotta do it how I do it, so give me the advice about how I should do it, you know, <laughs> I don't care how you would do it. I want to know how I should do it. Uh, anyway, uh, so basically, I, I guess the moral of the story is uh, don't ask anybody for advice on anything. Because, you know, everyone's just going to, you know, you know, if you ask, you know, it's like, what should I do with my life? People are just going to tell you what they would do with their life. And it's like, well, I don't care what you're doing with your life. I want to know what I should do with my life. You know, I don't have the skills that you have. I have no skills. So you got to imagine my perspective. What would you do if you had no skills? You know? Um, so anyway, that's, yeah, the, the moral, the moral of the story is that, you know, I guess everybody has their own, their own joke tastes and joke preferences, so it's like, it's kind of useless to ask a bunch of comedians which they prefer, you know, or, you know, just ask anybody, you know, their advice for life, you know, just don't ever ask anybody for advice, just do whatever you want, anybody, anytime, anytime anybody tells you what to do, just be like, don't! Tell me what to do, stepdad. I hate you. You know, anyway, thanks for listening. I'll see you tomorrow.